I talked about this website a while ago, the Daily Integral, but since I made that solitary single video that I made about it, a lot has changed about this. So in case you're someone who, who saw that and was like, well, that's quite cool, but I'm, I don't really, I mean, it's just one interval a day. It's not just one interval a day anymore. There's so much going on. Firstly, we need to get rid of all this uh, trash. Um, there we are. Um, goods. Oh, that changed. What is this? Every Christmas. Okay, sure. Okay, so we've turned off Christmas mode. That's much better. Uh, they have derivatives, so that's pretty cool. They have limits, just in case limits is part of your, um, you know, your course. There's there's loads of limits you can try and use different, um, you know, tactics for those things. We, of course, still have the intervals. We have the archive now, so this is pretty cool. So I think the idea is you earn credits by getting intervals right. As you can see, I have not spent very much time on this website. But you earn credits for getting them right, and then you can buy past integrals with the credits you've earned. Just in case you missed one, you can see them all. Um, so that's really cool. You could also buy them, I imagine, for actual money. Um, you could upgrade um, to get free credits all the time if you pay pi dollars per fortnight. That's pretty cool. Um, also, I think if you do that, by the way, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I just think it's a course awesome website, of course. There's a shop. Um, we should probably check the shop out. What could we get from the shop? Um, so this all looks nice. You can see that for yourself, I guess. Um, but then I wanted to talk about, um, I did the archive, what else they added to that? Uh, live mode. So you can get, you can do 1v1 integrals with people, like there's an ELO system and you climb it and stuff. Um, you have to make an account for that, but you can you can do that. And then this is cool. Like I, I thought about trying this in class. Um, if you are one of the people who pays every fortnight, you can um, set up party modes and you can like have integral battles with lots of people, it seems. Um, again, I haven't tried it. Um, again, I'm not being paid to say any of this. I, I just really wanted to pass on, because I, I like this site. I, I wanted to pass on all of the, the nice work they've been doing. Anyway, um, all I'm going to do is just very quickly uh, integrate this, because, um, because yeah, it's the daily. So let's just, may as well just do the daily, right? Um, so let's do this. Um, this doesn't look too bad. This looks like one of those uh, ones. Do I have a calculator, by the way? Oh, I've got my phone. Okay, that'll do. Um, this looks like one of those ones where you want to um, split into so like if I make this into x cubed times x squared over the root, then what happens is um, this whole thing. I may as well type it. I was thinking about not typing it there for a second. Like this whole thing is just reverse channel. Um, so therefore, if we write it like this, we can just do parts on it. I think where because this whole thing here is now integral because it just integrates to x cubed uh, plus one uh, to the power of positive a half. I guess because then. Half comes down, the 3x squared comes down, so I think we need a two-thirds there to make that all go away and just leave us with an x squared on the outside. And then that becomes a minus half, which is fine. So we integrate that to make that. We uh, So, I mean, how does um, parts work? We differentiate the other one, right? Um, so that's just that one differentiated. Then we uh, take away the integral of the same thing integrated like we had before. And then do we... No, sorry, we leave this one alone here, right? completely forgetting how to do even parts and then this is 3x squared and like that's because it's the derivative of this we've missed the two thirds i should put that in there as well um and that's really good because of course um this is now just reverse chain again um so that's pretty cool the threes obviously cancel so we will just cancel them and we'll put a two here um and then uh this integrates to three over two here you need a two thirds at the front um which hopefully will cancel with something later and uh, you'll get another 3x squared up again. So you can go one third here to cancel that. And it looks like it's going to be four ninths um, if I get rid of everything. And it will just be this with a four ninths in front. So let's just check that. Um, did I copy paste that? I did good. Uh, does this work? Um, so times by three over two, cancel, cancel to get three over two here. Yeah, three comes out. Oh, this doesn't work. Oh, no, sorry, it's a two over three. And three cancels. You keep a two. So that looks like it's fine. Um, and now I think all I need to do is type this. Oh, this actually looks quite nice, right? Because all you're doing is putting in... Oh, this is nice. That's just a 3. That's just a 3. And that's a 4, which roots to a 2. Oh, can we do this non-calc? That would be super fun. And that's also a 3. So, okay, I do remember, need to remember the 0 limit as well. Um, in fact, let's just keep this here for now. Um, so I... Just because otherwise I'll be... I won't know what to do with the zero. So that becomes a three. That becomes a three. This also becomes a three. And then we need to minus 
What happens when you print zero? Now, when you print zero, that whole thing is zero, but this isn't. This is minus uh, four ninths times one, right? Because this is just one, so that's, that's just one. So that's a plus four ninths at the end. Okay, so that's cool. We'll just put that there. And then here we have a four rooted cube is eight. So that's going to be an eight. So that's 32 over nine. And then this is four. It's two, four. So that's four ninths. Okay, so um, in total, I think this is, well, this is quite nice. Um, minus 24 over nine. I think I just need to type that. Oh, do I even need to type it? What is minus 24 over nine? Let's zoom out this bit. I am going to type it because I can't bother to do it. Uh, it's 2.67 with a minus, I think. And we'll just check whether that's right. And it always says elegant if you get it right. No! Ah, there's a mistake somewhere. Amazing. Well, that's going to be not fun to find. Um, I don't know whether I can bother to find it. Int, int, diff, leave, leave diff. Yeah, that's fine. This makes a 3x squared. Why have I got a 2 here? Oh, because it cancels with the three from here. Leaves that two. Yeah, that seems about right. Um, well, this is very disappointing. What happened to the last term? That's one, two, and then no, three is the last term. When we've written the zero. It's just zero plus four ninths. Uh... Very irritating. Oh, why is there a three here and a nine here? Uh, should these be threes? Uh, they should be, right? Hang on. What happened at the end here? <coughs> and that's a three. So cancels. That's a four, two. So that should just be a What am I doing? That should just be a four. You, you map it. And then this is four ninths of... Eight. Yeah, is that not is this not better now? And um, let's just type this in again. Four minus thirty-two over three plus four ninths minus six point two two. That seems also not correct, but let's just try it. Oh my god, why can I not just get this right? Two, three, cancels four. Four nights times eight. That should have a nine. Why did that just go away? No. Let me type that one more time. This is really terrible. Just don't make stupid mistakes, and you should be fine, unless you just don't know how to do it. For... Oh, there's no minus. No. Zero. How many more chances do we get? To not mess this up. Ray. Oh, that was terrible. Okay. Well, well called. Oh, I did yesterday's. I forgot I did yesterday's. That's cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, great website. Just don't make stupid mistakes on your intervals and you're fine.